Power in the World with Reverend Lucy Natasha, a voice of destiny. Association brings assimilation, which brings impartation. I repeat again, association brings assimilation which brings impartation let me make it let me bring it down listen to me you cannot be different from those whom you closely associate with if you know and you understand you are born for a time such as this i came to tell you you cannot afford to associate with everybody don't walk with people that are not going your direction come on look at your neighbor say neighbor don't walk with people that are not going your direction. You can imagine these people were supposed to face fire. But because Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego had the same spirit, I believe they encouraged each other. I have come to tell the youth it is your time to reflect on your association. Amos 3, 3 says, two cannot walk together unless they are agreed the next time you are choosing your friends i want you to know you are choosing your destiny look at your neighbor say neighbor ah the people in your life ah come on to asura kazi ambia mtu to asura ya kazi tell your neighbor the people in your life they either make you or break you the people in your life they either exhaust you or exalt you. The people in your life, they, are, they either drain you or develop you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, the people in your life, they are either a help or a hindrance. Are you listening to me? And that is why the Bible is clear. God has told you to love your neighbor. But he has not commanded you to love. He has commanded you to love your neighbor. But he has not commanded you to make everybody your friend. Love is a must. But relationship is by choice. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. I love you. But that doesn't mean I have to make you my friend. Hey. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Love is a must. But relationship is a choice. Are you listening to me? Don't walk with people that are not going your direction. I want you to begin choosing your association. And some of you are, are stagnating in life. Nothing is working. Nothing is moving in your life. Because you are trapped in wrong relationship. But in this conference, I want you to make a choice. Anybody that is not making you better, that is making you bitter. Let them go. Give your neighbor a high five and tell them, let them go. Anybody that is exhausting you instead of exalting you. Anybody that is a burden and not a blessing. Let them go. Ask your neighbor, are you a burden or a blessing? Hey, hallelujah. Don't walk. Don't make everybody your friend. Don't walk with people that are not going your direction are you listening to me and some of you are trapped in the wrong relationship because you are saying reverend natasha you don't understand i have history with this person but listen to me just because you have history with somebody doesn't mean you have a future with somebody hey tell your neighbor neighbor just because we have history that doesn't mean we have a future and I came to announce to somebody, your destiny is greater than your, than your history. Your future is greater than your past in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, lift your hand and shout fire. So don't associate with everybody. And there are people you need to let go. I love what Pastor Dan was saying. Even on Facebook, it's not everybody that you have to accept their request. Hey, some people you must delete. You are the CEO of your life. You have the right to invite, delete, and terminate. Somebody shout fire. So anybody that is not adding value to your life. Because there are two kinds of people in your life. Wasters or investors. Ask your neighbor, are you a waster or an investor? Hallelujah. 
the people in your life they either increase you decrease you or neutralize you that is why you need to be very serious about your association and as uh, uh, the man of God was sharing on wisdom one of the pointers was relationships hallelujah so check your relationship because when wrong people live your life wrong things will stop happening some of you your life is full of drama but it is because of the people you have in your life tell your neighbor let them go come on look at your neighbor say neighbor when wrong people live your life wrong things stop happening when toxic people live your life toxic things stop happening and listen to me one thing you need to know about wrong association they will kill your joy wrong associations will kill your passion wrong association will kill your dream wrong association will kill your faith wrong associations will kill your drive for success i challenge somebody here as you leave this conference tonight I want you to reflect on your association ask yourself who do I call my friends are you listening to me somebody say amen Reverend Lucy Natasha is an author of several books some of them being seven keys to success every problem has an expiry day God's leading lady and touching heavens through prayer for more information, you can visit our website www.lucynatasha.org.